Hey guys, how is everybody? I hope you're well. I'm going to try to make this quick because my battery's dang near dead. It's kind of chilly out here, but we're wrapping up this 372 kit saw. Um, you've seen a couple videos. We did go back to 50 millimeter on it. Um, we done some machine work on it, changed the port timing up in a few places. Um, it's running pretty strong. I've got a few little issues to work out of it but nothing major um once i get it all the way dialed in and get a really good chain on it uh, we may just bring it out and make a separate video and go into some details on the build and the numbers i use because they are a lot different than what even i would use on one of these um, but as of right now the saw pulls really hard in the hickory um so you know we'll just leave it at that for now but uh good strong running saw um which it was a strong running saw before i tore it down um, we do have plans for that top end the big boar dukes top end to put on another one of our saws um but people are probably tired of seeing saws this series on the channel we've kind of beaten it to death but uh i hate to tell you but uh Sooner than later, the uh, 365 that has the big hogged out transfers. Uh, we're going to go back into that. There's probably half a dozen of you guys or more through multiple videos said, hey, it's lacking compression. We know that. No machine work. Raising the exhaust roof. Kind of the point I was making. Um, what we done... Um, we uh, actually got it from the Duke and I actually ordered another piston while I was there because it kind of popped up in my search for some reason. But uh, we got us a highway pop-up to put in that 365. For now, we're going to leave that as a no machine work only. The only thing we're going to do in that video is uh, we're going to pull the cylinder, we're going to clean it up, we're going to put the highway pop up in, glue it back down. We're gonna do before and after cuts and a before and after compression test just to see what you really gain from a pop up piston. Um, now I already have a channel, a video on the channel showing that already on another saw. Um, that saw picked up a substantial amount of compression over an aftermarket flat top piston. So uh, I don't know, will we get the same result? On the 365 who knows but we're gonna find out um, I also picked up a pop-up piston that was one of the Dukes coded pop-ups uh, for our flea market 455 rancher um, that's gonna be an interesting build um, we're gonna go into it do port work similar to what we done on the Husqvarna 440 but you know we got a pop-up stick in it when we go back together so uh, you know, we'll just have to see how well we can make a 455 Rancher perform. Um, as of right now, um, it's kind of a turd saw. <laughs> it runs okay, we'll put it that way. It's a it's stock 56cc saw. Uh, it's not what we're used to running here. Um, what else? I've got parts here. I don't know how much of it I'm going to video, but I'm going to try to do a saw a night. We got three saws up from one of Simple Man's buddies. Um, one saw needs a carb rebuild. That's just something I don't like doing on camera. Um, we may just uh, kind of leave that one out of the mix, but then again, we may video a little bit. It's a little 240 Husky. Um, then we got a 311 steel. It's a whole carb swap on it. Um, honestly, it's all I could find to go on it, to be honest with you, is what was weird and... Uh, getting steel parts around here is like i don't know it's just uh you'd have to go through an act of congress or something to get the local people here to actually order you something um then the other saw is a 435 it's got an issue with coal where it's just like it's uh, got a really really low rev, rev limiter it just won't rev at all but uh we have a new coal to put on that saw so uh we may get those out in video repairing on may not but i'm gonna try to do a saw a night if not two um that's all depending on how cold it gets in here too um 
what else um our little echo um i'm really thinking about i'm seeing a lot of videos on how to pour the power saw i don't think i've ever titled one that someone correct me if i'm wrong there wasn't a comment we've done videos where we just kind of titled them cylinder porting or something just kind of showing my spin on it but what the hell why don't we just title one how to port uh, show the machine work and everything um how we think it should be built um be people agree with what i'm going to do with it and others that won't but it ain't going to be what you're used to seeing um and from what research i've done i think we can make a really good strong saw out of it um we cut some big hickory with it in bone stock form. It felt pretty weak. It was getting the job done, and that was about it. Um, we'll probably do a before and after on it, show you how it cut before and after. Uh, just the way I like to do it here. Um, I don't like to sugarcoat or BS anyone about anything. Um, I'm trying to think, guys, if there's anything else I can think of. Um, we covered two pop-up pistons, the repairs, the echo. Hell, I've even got a bone stock 026 here. I'm still not sure how I came across that. It was on eBay, but we got lucky on that deal. But it's a low hour saw. Uh, looks good, runs good. Um, I'm thinking it was missing half of the plastic is how I got it so cheap. Um, we put some aftermarket plastic on it and made a really nice saw out of it, but we may do another how to port series on that and i've got my old 046 we need to eventually get into that um i've just got so much going on it ain't even funny um i think i finally got my sprocket and chain for that black craftsman saw 3.3 i don't even know if i've shown it much but uh we're gonna get it out and bar it up and put it in a piece of wood and eventually we'll pull that down and port it but lots of content coming guys you'll just have to be patient with me um as i get time to do it and as the weather allows but as always uh i really appreciate you guys all you new subs i welcome you to stay um if you're not seeing my videos and i know it sounds like i'm beating a dead horse the little bitty bell beside of the, the, the subscribe button Click that and choose all, and it'll notify you of almost every video I put out. Uh, sometimes if I put out more than three or four in a day, it's not going to notify you of them all. But, uh, yeah, I think we've covered it all. I'm kind of freezing, ready to go in. Been a long day. Um, yeah, guys, y'all have a great afternoon, and I hope the rest of your week's good. Um, and, yeah, thank you guys for watching. <laughs>